Hello everyone. I am developer of Pretty Good Token Sniper, aka PGTS. You may also know me by the name of ScroogeMac.420 on Telegram and GitHub. This is tutorial video on how to use PGTS. So what is PGTS? It is free to use token sniper for decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap or Uniswap. You are probably thinking, but why is it free? if similar snipers cost thousands of dollars. Well, this sniper is supported by donations of its users, so I don't have to charge anything. If you have success using PGTS, feel free to donate to support further development of the sniper. Okay, let's start our tutorial. First, we go to the pretty good token sniper website and we click download. This will open GitHub page with the latest release of Pretty Good Token Sniper. We scroll down. We press this link. And we save it. All right, it may issue a warning which says it is not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous, which is kind of logical because it is not commonly downloaded at this point. It's a new software. So we press keep to keep the file. File has been downloaded. It's right here. We don't need this one. Now we have to extract it. There we go, extract, and here it is. As far as downloading, that's basically it. Next step is we have to adjust our settings. So let's open settings file. First, we have to enter wallet address, which we are going to use for sniping and the wallet's private key. I'll do it off screen so you don't see my private address and stuff. And some spaces. Okay, it's hidden. Okay, there we go. So next, what we do is uh, we specify exchange that we want to do sniping on. Uh, I have chosen banking swap version 2 and the list of exchanges are on the pretty good token sniper website and mode i have chosen liquidity for now but there are two modes one is liquidity where we send a buy request whenever liquidity is available on PancakeSwap, and second one will be mempool mode where the moment the liquidity enters the mempool we send our request and mempool should usually be way faster than liquidity mode but in some instances you may want to use liquidity mode and um, yeah that's what you're gonna do now i'm gonna show how mempool works afterwards so we have done that let's close the file save it all right let's explore the setup file so this first section is responsible for the token we are going to snipe this is the token's address and this is the token symbol pretty straightforward the next section is responsible for the token you are going to snipe with Use custom base means that if token is not native to the chain you are using, then you should change it to true. Since BNB is native to Binance Smart Chain, this should be false. But let's say liquidity gets added in BUSD, right? You will set it to true and you'll have BUSD address right here. So some, some projects do that, they add 
liquidity in something else other than BNB. Next section is responsible for how often and how much you will buy and when as well. So buy times means how many buys will be sent when the buy is triggered. Uh, so you will send one buy order with this setting. Base buying amount means how much in base you're going to spend per one buy. So in this instance, you will send one BNB one time. Minimum tokens received is how much tokens you want to receive back for your one BNB. Um, zero means unlimited slippage. You will get whatever market is willing to give you. So these numbers you should uh, use with caution and uh, adjust by your own liking. I, I Most of the time I use zero myself, but you may have different risk tolerance. Trigger price in base is the price below which the buy will be triggered. So zero will trigger no buys because, well, no tokens is worth less than a zero. So this next section is responsible for selling tokens. If you don't want to sell your successfully sniped tokens, you just specify this as false. But most of the times you will want to sell them so you specify that as true or unless you want to sell them manually you can specify them as false here and just sell them on on the exchange so approve approve means that it sends a proof request shortly before it sells the token in most cases you'll have it as true because you have to send a proof tokens requests if you want to sell the token. So I wouldn't change this to anything other than true with exceptions. If you are selling the token, which you have approved previously. If token price is above this number, it will trigger a sell and it will be sent to a blockchain. Zero just means that it will send sell at any price. Hold tokens percent means how much tokens you want to still hold after the sell is executed. If you want to have a little moon back, you can still hold like 25% of the tokens. So it will hold 25% of the tokens. If you buy like a thousand tokens, 250 will be held and 750 will be sold with this setting. Gas, self-explanatory, um, usually should not be more than 20, I would suggest. And gas limit should be around 2 million. That should be good for most, most uh, snipes. All right, and now let's see this sniper in action. So, I'll input some specific settings. All right, with care, zero. It's gonna be false. All right, so what's gonna happen now? Gonna launch the the bot, and with these settings, it won't buy anything, right? Because trigger price in base is at zero. Why is that launching? Uh, all right, we're gonna run it anyway. There you go. All right, so there you go. Uh, the bot sniper is in action and you can see the price. You can see the notification that it's the snipe is not executed yet. And the good thing about this sniper is that you can adjust 
the setup on the go. So if I will change my trigger price, which is above this price, it will trigger a buy and will buy instantly. So let's go and specify it to 0 0.003. So since this, since the price is below this number, it will trigger a buy. It will always trigger a buy when the price is below this number. And what will happen? It will send 0 0.01 BNB two times and will say that I want to buy tokens at the market value, no slippage, no nothing. I'll, I'm happy with receiving zero tokens. And yeah, that's it. Let's press Control Save, Control S to save the file and it will send a, a, a buy order. There you go. Boom. So it's sent. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot scroll up. So it sent two buy orders. And what changed here in the console? It says snipe is executed, which is very nice. And we can confirm that the snipe was executed successfully just by looking it up on the blockchain. So let me paste my address. And as we can see, I had two transactions 25 seconds ago. Let's click on transaction number one. Yeah, it did send 0 0.01 BNB and I got 3.42 BUSD back. That's pretty cool. And the second transaction probably looks the same. Uh, Let's do this again. Boom, there you go. Second transaction, same transaction. All right, that's a very nice demo snipe, but can we sell it? Of course we can sell it. Let's, so after a successful snipe, you can, uh, you can sell your tokens. The software is built in a way that you can only sell tokens after you have bought some uh, tokens. And then it will reset the cycle after you have successfully sold your tokens. So if we specify this to true and press control save, it should sell 10% of BUSD that I have and 90% I will hold. Also one small note, sell price should always be higher than trigger price with exception if it's zero so if we change this to zero this should be a valid setup let's go ahead and save it boom oh wait a minute let's actually set this to true yep there we go control save and boom so it confirms that we had actually um, had actually bought, let's specify this to false very quickly and save it. So uh, it did sell 4.8 for B, uh, BUSD. And now the cycle restarts and you can again specify tokens that you want to buy, you can change the, the address, you can do anything you want really. Let's change, let's check this out on the blockchain. All right, so what happened? First of all, it's going to send approved tokens, right? So it approved BUSD for trade on PancakeSwap version two, right? Um, and then next transaction should be actual sell of the tokens. There you go, it sold 4.84 BUSD for BNB. And that's how the liquidity sniper works, basically. Let's exit this and I'll... To exit this, you just press Ctrl C and it's gonna exit in five seconds and it's gonna close the window as well. All right. So... 
So these are the basics of how buying and selling tokens with PGTS work. In my next video, I will show how to snipe a token when liquidity gets added to the pool. Stay tuned.